kind of reminds me of the parable with the mustard seed, how something so small has grown and blossomed into something so beautiful. It's hard to believe it's been almost two years since the ladies first introduced themselves to the staff and Father Yosef at the church at St. Brendan. Um, since that time, they've developed such a friendship that's gone beyond the volunteering. As an agency, one of our strong focuses is on really supporting the people who choose our services to be included in all aspects of the community. St. Brendan is, is really a wonderful example of how, how this naturally occurs. We get devotions together because we're back a nice reader. While they're each doing what they're doing, Father Yosef will come up, Janie will come up, Sharon, all of them will come up and compliment the ladies for the work that they do and show their appreciation. Their friendships have grown over time. It's not just a volunteering activity anymore. It's true friendship. They talk about their week since they saw each other last. They talk about their plans for the weekends together. St. Brendan's has made a big impact on the personal growth of each one of these ladies. They're growing within themselves personally. They're finding their own likes of what they enjoy and they also feel comfortable in saying what they want to do and they come up with their ideas for where they want to go and what they want to try next. I'd like to say thank you to St. Brendan's for being open and welcome to Heritage Christian Services. You truly are an example of Christ's love in action. Thank you, St. Brendan. And I love you, St. Brendan. Thank you, St. Brendan, for everything, and we love you.